So this little RC car that we've been building, I have plans to turn this into a first person view. So we'll be driving with that F1 steering wheel. So what we're gonna be building is a, a lap counter. And then with this here, um, I'm not gonna be focusing too much on the design, but more on the hardware. So this design I'm currently 3D printing, I'm gluing all the pieces together. And what color are we gonna be painting it? Golden. <laughs> Odin's in charge of design. Now, the reason why we're not going to focus too much on the design is because you could do this with a, a traffic cone. You could do this for your power wheels. We're doing it for this specific uh, RC car. Now, what's key about this, though, is you'll notice down here on Odin is this, this is the proximity sensor. So I'm going to be running the wires up through this little channel. I got a hole open right here. And so the wires will come up from here. They'll run through. And then this is where I'm going to be storing all my hardware. And again, on this design, hey, dude is uh, we're gonna be putting the LCD display here. This is gonna show you your, your fastest lap, your total time, and then what lap you're on. And then when the whole thing starts, this is gonna be green, yellow, I'm sorry, red, yellow, and green. And then each time the car breaks through this line right here, we're gonna know that a lap has been done. I'm gonna be using the Arduino Uno again. That's gonna be the microcontroller. But what I wanted to do differently this time is I wanted to utilize this specific shield. And the reason for that is because I knew that this project was going to require a lot more wiring and having a shield like this, this allows me to open up the pins and drop them straight in there. This is going to make it a lot easier to manage so many wires. The second reason why I want to do this is it's going to be a bit more robust, thinking that these cars are going to occasionally hit this and maybe knock it over. Uh, I wanted to make sure that the wiring of this was going to be more sound. The other thing that I did is I bought this pack of jumper cables. Each of these have a, uh, a female end on it. And what I'm doing here is I'm popping these things off so that way I just have the basic terminal and those fit perfectly inside these pins. So here in the big opening, I'm going to be putting in an LCD screen. And this way I'm going to be able to display what lap you're on and that information. And then these three holes, I got a couple of these LEDs here. And these are going to go through each of these two push buttons. Now, the reason why I wanted to have these push buttons was one of them is going to be a lap counter. So the, the race system is going to default to just one lap race. And then, uh, then the second one is going to start it. The final element to this is the proximity sensor down over here. This proximity sensor, um, I forget the exact specs. I'll put them up on the screen, but I know it's like up to 80 centimeters. I was going to, I've already dialed this thing in, so it's going to be able to scan the whole length or the width of this. So anytime a car goes through and breaks this, it's going to know that it's immediately a lap. So what I'm going to do now is I got to piece it all together and I'm going to start to test the code. I've been utilizing a lot of uh, ChatGPT again for this one. And so I'm going to be posting all of the design files, all of the code as well. So if you want to replicate this, again, your design is going to probably be different than mine, but the code, the logic of that, it should be easy and pretty straightforward to follow along. I'm currently gluing some of these pieces together, as you can see, and then because some of the warpage, what I'm gonna do is once I have this glued, I'm gonna be using some plastic wood. I'm gonna putty over this, sand it down to make it nice and secure. It's already pretty structurally sound. And then once we're all said and done, Odin, again, he wants to paint it with that bright, shiny gold coloring, and then we're gonna deck this thing out and make it look a lot of fun. Green, blue. Okay, we are now set, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. And you'll see the screen will now show the supercharged raceway with the default one lap. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it with one and start it. Now the timer will not begin until the first beam is broken, so the cars are gonna now drive through the starting gate. We will see that the timer is going. This is just one of one lap, so here we go. For the second time around, this will be concluding the race. And the system will show the fastest lap, the total time, so now we can start to have competitions.
and we quickly realized there were some errors in the design that needed to be fixed. This beam does not have a laser that goes across and said that is a cone. And what was doing, it was picking up some of the range from down here and so it would falsely trigger a lap. We also realized that this target was a bit of a challenge and that the reality was is that it was going to be very common that we would crash into these pillars. Did you see that? <laughs> so to solve that is we made these small uh, pads. We lift this thing up here. This slides just in place. Same on that end. And now this is far more stable. If cars run into this, it's gonna be able to withstand it much better.